Hello everyone, Dr. Suresh here. In this video, we will be talking about one of the lipoprotein that is chylomicron. How chylomicron is produced and how it is metabolized and how it is degraded. Right. So, all these things involved in lipoprotein, I mean chylomicron metabolism. Right. So, first we will see the synthesis of chylomicron. So, we have already studied chylomicron is the lightest lipoprotein out of all other lipoproteins. So, and what is the major component present in chylomicron that is triglycerides and the main function of chylomicron is to transport exogenous triglycerides from intestine to skeletal muscles or cardiac muscles or adipose tissue for storage and finally after delivering all the triglycerides to these parts finally it reaches to the liver and will be degraded in the liver and the remnant chylomicron that means after delivering all the triglycerides to the extra hepatic tissues the way it will go to the liver only with the cholesterol content. So, that is known as a remnant chylomicron which will be taken up by the liver and it will be destroyed or degraded inside the liver. Right. So, chylomicrons are formed in intestinal mucosal cells and secreted into the lacteals of lymphatic system. Okay. And they are rich in triglycerides. Uh, if lipemic serum is kept overnight in the refrigerator, chylomicrons rise as a creamy layer to the top leaving the subnet clear. And when the chylomicrons are synthesized by the intestinal mucosa, they contain only ApoB48 and ApoA, right? And ApoC and ApoE are added from HDL in blood during transportation. So when chylomicron is synthesized, only ApoB48 and ApoA will be there. And from the intestine, when it reaches to the circulation, the ApoC and ApoE are added from HDL during the transportation. So you see the structure of typical chylomicron. So you see here there is a lipid surrounding layer okay in middle cholesterol is also there okay inside you see here it's a high percentage is by triglycerides you see this one this one this one this one triglycerides in the interior and it has got phospholipid outer layer okay and little amount of cholesterol in the middle of the phospholipid outer layer and is also inside okay but the major substance is present inside in interior that is triglycerides and we have already seen like ApoB100 is there okay ApoE is also there and ApoC2 and ApoE and ApoC has been accepted from the HDL here the donor of ApoE and ApoC by HDL okay the main site of metabolism of chylomicrons are adipose tissue and skeletal muscles the enzyme lipoprotein lipase located in the endothelial layer of capillaries of adipose tissue and muscles and heart but not in the liver. Remember the lipoprotein lipase, okay, which is located in endothelial layer of capillaries of adipose tissue, muscles and heart, but not in the liver. ApoC2 present in the chylomicrons activates lipoprotein lipase. So, this is the main function of C2. Remember, ApoC2, okay, whatever present in the outer layer of chylomicron activates the lipoprotein lipase. So, this activated lipoprotein lipase hydrolyzes triglycerides present in chylomicrons into fatty acids and glycerol. And muscles and adipose tissue cells take up the liberated fatty acids and glycerol will be transported back to the liver. So, liver this is the overall function of chylomicron. So, what happens after that? Okay, after dumping all arterial content of triacylglycerols at uh, skeletal muscles, cardiac muscles and the uh, adipose tissue. So, the remnant chylomicron. Okay, so liver takes up the remnant one. Okay, as the TAG content is progressively decreased, the chylomicron shrinks in size. Initially, when it is rich of triacylglycerols, it is large. Once the triacylglycerol content decreases, it will become smaller in size. Okay. These remnants containing B48 ApoE, okay, which has been taken out by hepatic cells, also by receptor mediated endocytosis, ApoE binds to hepatic receptors. So, how liver knows that this is a chylomicron? So, on the top of the liver, there is a receptors like ApoE receptors. By seeing these ApoE receptors, okay, ApoE is already present on top of the chylomicron. So, it go and bind to the ApoE receptors on the liver and it will go inside of the liver cells. Okay, then it will be degraded. You see here, metabolism. So, what and all things are happening here. So, because we have given already the thing, you might be confused, ApoB100 and ApoB48. So, chylomicron is also produced in liver, it is also produced in intestine. In liver, the protein is ApoB100. Okay, if the chylomicron is produced in intestine and the protein is B48. So, don't get confused. So, please make note of this. ApoB100, the chylomicron which is producing from the liver that contains ApoB100. Okay, 
I think the chylomicron which is produced from the intestine it contains in our previous videos we have already discussed already discussed how ApoB100 and ApoB48 and what's the reason behind of this half synthesized ApoB48 okay so here you see and already ApoB48 and ApoA are there when it is synthesizing okay so in intestine that is known as first nascent chylomicron that means B48 and A initially when it is synthesizing from the intestine does carry only two proteins ApoB48 and ApoA and here HDL will come into the action in the circulation okay it donates C2 and E it donates ApoC2 and ApoE okay and you have already discussed the role of C2 and E okay ApoC2 okay ApoC2 involved in activation of lipoprotein lipase is present in the endothelial lining of skeletal muscles and in adipose tissue and in cardiac muscles so once this lipoprotein lipase is activated it start degrading the triglycerides present inside the chylomicron okay and apoe what happened because of the presence of apoe only liver can able to recognize that is chylomicron and it will take up inside you see here once the, this is matured chylomicron okay nascent chylomicron is shortage of apoc2 and apoe okay matured chylomicron is rich of I mean like uh, all four proteins b48 a c2 and e once it reaches to the extra hepatic tissues like skeletal muscles adipose tissue and uh, cardiac muscles it releases uh, triglyceride contents as free fatty acids and the uh, liver once triglycerides level decreases the size will be decreased so it is known as remnant chylomicron and because of the presence of ipoe okay there are apoe receptors on the liver surface so it will take up inside okay and then be degraded so this is the overview of chylomicron metabolism and what is the function so as i mentioned function of chylomicrons chylomicrons are the transport form of dietary triglycerides from intestine to adipose tissue for storage and to muscle or heart for energy needs because continuous muscle contraction require energy for energy whatever the glycogen or glucose is there is not sufficient so free fatty acids has to undergo beta oxidation to enter into tca cycle to produce energy for that purpose chylomicrons will be transporting triglycerides from intestine to these extra hepatic tissues so that's all about chylomicron metabolism okay thanks for watching thank you